Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics, and we're back again for another <laughs> episode of 10 sketch covers from my collection. All right, so we got another 10 sketch covers from my collection. Uh, this whole series, uh, thanks to viewers uh, like you guys who have made suggestions, that this was something that you wanted to see was to me for me to recap, go start going back into my slabs uh, and start sharing some of the, not just the sketch covers, but some of the other slabs that are in there because it's been a long time since some of them have been shown on this channel. And many of you may not know what the heck they are. So uh, we're doing this. 10 sketch covers. Now these ones, today's theme is uh, ones that aren't commissions. So these are all sketch covers that I did not personally commission the subject matter. Uh, I got them either through uh, direct purchase that were already done or uh, from mystery boxes. Uh, so all the links will be down below. You guys can check all that out. Uh, so a good chunk of these came from uh, IRF authentic mystery boxes. So the only information will be down below, but you can follow them on Instagram as well. Um, IRF authentic mystery boxes, everything in their mystery box is signed. Generally you get signed books, multi-signed books, you get books with remarks, and then they have featured artists and quite frequently uh, there's a anywhere from a 30 to 50% chance of getting a sketch cover out of those mystery boxes. Uh, and sometimes they do ones where there's a sketch cover in every single one. And sometimes the artist has specials where you can then reach out to them and you'll get a discount on an actual commission that you want done. But so this one, this was uh, Olivia Romandali, who is interesting that I get this <laughs> sketch cover because I actually think of Olivia Romandali more for Transformers. Um, he does a lot of Transformers commission work, but uh, this is um, Punchline, uh, quick sketch in the, on the Punchline one, the first and the first of well, it's a one shot really, but so this was Olivia Romandali, and of course you can see it's stamped uh, with from IRF Authentic, six out of twenty sketch covers that were done and a COA on the back. And then of course I sent it off to CVCS where they verified the signature, um, verified signature sketch on cover uh, and no, oh, and the item that says six out of 20. Uh, and of course I do always get, I like to get these art grades as I've talked about on this series, uh, not grading the book. The, value is in the art and not in the grade of the comic. Uh, so why pay for grading? That's my theory. It saves me some money and then I don't end up with like a 9-2 that totally distracts from everything. So here we go. Nice. There's a punchline. I know some people not keen on punchline. I personally, I dig the character. Uh, so this one here, this is a, a Drew Johnson uh, sketch cover and this is uh, of Spider Boy from the Amalgam universe. So, not to be confused with the current Spider Boy running around, but uh, the Amalgam universe was this mixture of Marvel and DC characters put together. And so, this is kind of like a mixture of Sp uh, Superboy and Spider Man together, and you got Spider Boy. That was another IR off, Authentics one. And yet another, I think a good chunk of these are going to be IRF Authentics. Uh, this is <clears throat> Gargoyles number one from uh, John Yuan. It's just a really quick uh, Goliath, quick sketch. Uh, this one, also an IRF Authentics, uh, this was um, Ian uh, Chase Nichols, uh, and this was a Doomsday cover. This one I dig. And then I got another Ian Chase Nichols, uh, of course, 
he's the man who does the tick. So come on, chum. There's a venture ahead. Spoon. <laughs> so doing that tick cover on that crossover. Just awesome. Uh, and then this one on the back, it basically just, there's some writing on the back. It basically say him himself stating that, that he did it original and all this other stuff. All right, so this one, not an IR off Authentics. These next couple are Ken Hazers. Uh, again, Ken Hazer um, does a lot of remarks. He calls them, we call them sketch covers, uh, on uh, various books for Dynamic Forces, which are available via previews. You go through your previews online. You can see them under, if you search DF, and you can find them, and you can pre-order them. They'll take a long time to come in, and maybe you'll get one, maybe you won't. Sometimes your store will cancel because too many people order it, and you miss out. It's just the way it is. Sometimes you're good. Uh, you'll Generally, you'll see a preview of one, and then he does 10 to 15 variations, and you're going to get what you get. And this was for Venom number one. Just, this was a great one. I like that uh, silver on black. Good looking book. And then this Ken Hazer, this is a great one. Uh, of course, uh, Suicide Squad, uh, big in the movies, came out. And, um, of course, Beastkeeper. <laughs> Just John Cena's character. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant. If you're liking this so far guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you don't mind it does help us get in front of more eyeballs more eyeballs means more ad revenue and that ad revenue it, will, it goes to comics curing cancer uh, comics curing cancer is the charity that I support I run I help run uh, as part of the American Cancer Society basically we're working with you the community, comic community to raise funds to knock out cancer because uh, it is the ultimate super villain so if you don't, if you don't want to know more, watch this video here. What is comic scaring cancer? All right, so there we go. That's that Ken Hazer video or Ken Hazer commission. Uh, these next one, the next three are all also IRF authentics. So we're back to the IRF authentics one. This one, I think, is if I'm recalling right, this one is the very first sketch cover I ever got out of an IRF Authentics box. Um, this is Carl Allsteider. And since I've done several commissions with Carl, um, from based out of my initial uh, appreciation of what he did here, and he had a um, special in the in his, in the box that was like you could get certain a special price on commission um, because you had gotten the IRF Authentics box. And then from there, I've done several with him. Uh, but here we go. They got Black Bolt. So that's nice. Mr. Stoic himself. Uh, then the, this one was the second one I ever got, I believe. Uh, and this is uh, Olivia Ramondali. Uh, and uh, it's just a Sentinel. Omega threat detected. All right, and the last one in this of our 10 uh, sketch cover uh, series here. This is a Ken Lashley, um, and it's noted on here that he signed it twice. Um, so sketch on cover, uh, Ken Lashley, Domino. And you can see what they did is they, they count this Lashley is one signature, then this KWL as the second signature, I'm guessing. But nice domino cover. And there you go. And that's it, guys. That's 10 more sketch covers from my collection. We still got more to go. Uh, so by all means, uh, let me know down below which of this lot was your favorite. And uh, until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.